Question number three, find the volume of the solid. Round your answer to two decimal places. Same instructions as we had on the previous two questions. Remember, rounding to two decimal places. For questions one and questions two, we got an exact whole number answer. So there was no need to round. But I'm predicting that based on the measurements of the diameter and the height of this cylinder, we're going to need to round in this problem. So this is a cylinder, so I'm going to turn in my flip book to cylinder. And I find out that we're going to figure out the area of the base, which in this case will be a circle. So our area of the base is going to be pi r squared. And then we're going to figure out the volume as the base area times the height, just like we did for prisms. All right, let's highlight our base. The base of a cylinder is always a circle. And I'm going to pick this side right here, or this face right here for our base. I could have picked the other circle as well, but I picked this one because that's where the measurements are. It makes it a little bit easier. All right, and then I thought this diagram was unclear as far as whether they were giving you the measurement of the diameter or the radius. So I went ahead and typed in, this is the diameter. And you guys remember that we can't use the diameter in our base calculation. We have to use the radius. And we can find the radius as equal to the diameter divided by 2. So in this case, our radius is equal to 4. 0.31 meters. We're going to need that for our base area calculation. And then uh, again we're going to label our height like we always do. In this case our height is the edge measurement that doesn't, make, doesn't uh, form an edge of the base. So this is the only one left. The height is 10.55 meters. Let's go ahead and do our calculations. So the first thing we'll figure out is what is the area of the base? That's going to be pi times 4.31 squared. Now you don't have to do this, but I've found sometimes it's nice when you have a decimal answer to put it in parentheses when you're raising it to a power so you don't accidentally put 1 squared in your calculator. Let's go ahead and put this in our calculator. Pi times 4.31 squared and I have that already in my calculator you can see pi times 4.31 squared is equal to 58.3585 rounding to two decimal places that is 58.36 so our base area is 58.36 and that is in units squared or meters squared we found our height was equal to 10.55 meters. So now let's figure out our volume. Our volume is the area of the base times the height, which is equal to 58.36 times 10.55. Let's take a look at our calculator. Again, I've done that work already. 58.36 times 10.55 is equal to 615.698 which we can round that now. The 8 makes the 9 round up which goes to 0 which makes the 6 round up to 7 so our rounded answer is 615.70 so our volume is approximately 615 or 615 get that written correctly 615.70 meters cubed. Put a box around that. Remember, you can see I've rounded my answer to two decimal places.